Hey folks, Father Sampati from Siju Virus. Today we're going to see uh, some development in Blender 2.8 with normal editing tools, uh, normal, uh, you know, weighted normal modifier and bevel. Okay, so let's see first. Uh, there, uh, if I go to the edit mode now and go to the mesh and uh, normals, there are some normal editing tools now here. There is also a modifier which is called weighted normal and uh, there are some bevel improvements as well here in bevel okay anyway so uh, to get this uh, to access this normal editing tools what I need to do is basically go here and uh, you need to go to the object data and you need to enable auto smooth here so I have created um, you know this quick favorite so auto smooth you can do it like right click and uh, assign a quick favorite so auto smooth on uh, by default it should be 180 but it is 30 not a problem because uh, when uh, we are doing uh, a normal editing it will create some custom split data so it will be disabled so not a problem anyway so let's uh, get started with it so first of all what I need to do is basically if I'm uh, I need to create a bevel so I'm just going to create some bevel here there we go so and uh, let's go to the shading mat cap I'm going to use uh, metal shader here. Yeah, yeah. there we go. And uh, let's do toggle overlay here for a minute. And I'm going to overlay. Um, uh, let's go to edit mode, overlay. I'm going to enable this normal. Okay. So this is the part where it's normal. So now you can see uh, pretty easily that uh, these normals are perpendicular uh, for you know vertices. So. 90 90 90 so yeah so what you can do now is basically uh, let's say let's go to the modify list enable the auto smooth first then go to the modify list and let's use weighted normal so you can see uh, it has been curved okay uh, so in the weighted normal you will see there are three modes which uh, first one is corner angle so corner angle you know if I go to the edit mode now you can see the differences so corner angle is you know making the corner corner to the 90 degree angle you know the 90 and 90 so the corners are you know dependent here in the face it will uh, go for faces so this face is 90 90 this face is 90 90 so and the corner uses vertices for that vertices 90 90 okay so i use face area and you can also uh, give give it uh, average so that is you know face area and corner angle both so now it will get uh, vertices and face uh, it will calculate the vertices uh, average point of vertices and uh, you know, faces and you can use weight to create the weight I'm going to turn off the I'm going to enable center and it will faces here okay so let's save it yeah so this is the weight how much weight it should have so I'm going to use face here uh, there is keep sharp keep sharp means you know it will uh, sh uh, you know make the edge split and uh, it will you know go to the previous state of uh, you know face uh, sharp sharp faces so it will create a sharp angle so it doesn't uh, you know uh, I don't need that so keep sharp yeah now you can see it is you know creating a nice bevel all around uh, there is a face influence the face influence is actually I'm not sure about it honestly speaking so the face influence goes with this guy uh, normals okay and uh, this guy if I go to the mesh uh, by the way I have uh, just you know created a shortcut here so press Q mesh normal and uh, this one face select and set is done so I'm not sure about those so I'm not going to talk about it if you know those let me let me know all right so in um, uh, the weighted normal so um, now let's see uh, what is actually going on here so this is the procedural way it stacks in you know modifier so if I go to the data mesh you can see there is no custom data right now okay there is no custom data so if I go to apply here you can see now there is a custom split normal data so if I close it it will go to the previous state of an you know, auto smooth so if I enable it you know uh, undo it you know, so you can see the disabled angle here it will not affect anything this will affect everything all right 
got the point right so now let's uh, talk about <coughs> what the magic it was doing wait a normal so now let's go to the tab edit mode let's go to face I'm going to face, face select and uh, or you can do vertex as well not a problem so select all so let's go to the mesh normals or just uh, I'm just going to quick favorite mesh normals and uh, if you go average normal here here we go you can see exactly the same thing uh, this is the custom normal okay but uh, if I go to the uh, you know face area it will create the face area if you go to the corner angle it will create the corner angle so I'm going for face area because this one is good so now you can see these things so if we go to the object mode you can see this is the custom split normal data here all right so that's it so now let's talk about um, let's uh, just clear this uh, sorry clear the custom split here now let's talk about uh, normal editing yeah so the normal editing um, there are way too much tool I don't use so I'm just going to talk about some first of all uh, the normal rotating you know how to rotate your normal so you can go with vertices here let's give mesh normals there are rotation normal rotate normal okay so if I just select it and select it here you can angle it angle change your angle here okay this is the vertex normal you can do it for ages so press 2 select it Q mesh normal uh, rotate normal you can do it like that okay you can go exact here or what you can do is basically uh, press R and press N to rotate your normal you can obviously use 90 or the, the standard stuffs okay 50 or standard stuffs you know something like that you can do it like that as well you can go for space R here press N you can now rotate your normal as well you can do it for faces as well so if I go to press 3 and select it and we go for this you know press N suppose we need 90 you can do 90 or you can do minus 90 uh, doesn't matter or you can just go for it here and you can also uh, if you deselect it you can do it like that as well pretty good so here press N and here we go okay so you can do it like that as well so this is great this is great for you know game modeling of course I like it so Q mesh normals let's talk about other things uh, let's go to um, average average normal this area looks fine and dandy so uh, what average normals does is basically you know create the uh, you know take the split normals and average the normals according to phases uh, you know all phases have you know uh, there are actually two normals and this one has a normal uh, if I go to the vertices here you can see it better so this vertices is actually if I rip it like uh, press V to rip it you can see actually it has two okay uh, two normal data so yeah so what average normal does is basically merge these two normal and make an average point for it so it's pretty cool and uh, it gives you a good uh, you know object in games people are using it you know so uh, let's go to G and you know you can do lots of cool stuff with it okay anyway so now let's go to rotation that is good average is done set to face yep let's go set to face so what does set to face do is basically you know uh, you just have seen it just go to mesh normal set to face set from faces it will uh, you know go like this okay you can see it like this so you can edit your normal okay and if you need to reset it you can just go to Q normals and reset it it will go to the sharp edge and you know, on the previous state and uh, also you can do average press Q normal average normal it will do the normal again okay 
so now let's see uh, some magic here so if I go here I can you know I want to uh, make a you know carve profile here so what I can do is basically I can press in and we can sharp it up a little bit like that or uh, just go to H you know, press in so I can carve it like this okay. it will create a carve though I'm doing it randomly I don't know <laughs> press in so yeah so we can uh, you know squeeze the normal as well so crea uh, to create some illusion and uh, it is uh, nowadays it is very common to work like that you know weight and normal average because uh, in uh, it creates a you know uh, you can pretty easily create some low poly model uh, with high detail you know high detail stuff so yeah traditionally you know if you go for subdivision you can uh, uh, you know create some kind of look like that but with normal alerting you know just you know simple edge loop will you know a very low poly edge loop will create uh, you know a very nice bevel you know object you can understand that, right so anyway so uh, let's go to face select set to face smooth okay um, <clears throat> First, let's uh, select it. Suppose I need uh, these to be in you know, a hard edge. So what I can do is basically mesh normal and split the normal here. Split. There we go. Now we have a hard edge, hard edge here. Okay. You, if you want to smooth your normal, go to the Q mesh normal smooth. There is smoothen, smoothen normal. I know. So you can smooth it up a little bit. Here we go pretty crazy stuff so can be done with these things so pretty good so Q normal average normal and uh, I think yeah we need to control E clear sharp yeah because it is creating a sharp edge okay. now press Q mesh normal and uh, we can uh, average normal okay so what else split done smooth done complex scenario okay we're going for some complex scenario now show sure. save it and i'm coming back one thing i almost forgot that uh, you can go to uh, you know vertex mode you can select uh, normal suppose you are moving this normal here something like uh, this suppose and uh, you need to paste this normal here and uh, this two so what you can do is basically you can go to Q mesh normal copy this one is pretty much important you know so now what I'm going to do is basically select all of these normals there you go Q mesh normals paste now it will just copy this normals and paste it here which is pretty much important sometimes you will uh, need this okay Alright, so I'm going to show you some of my workflow, uh, simple workflow here. So let's go to just uh, let's create a mesh here. <coughs> I usually don't use modifier uh, for these things. So let's go to Q or a smooth. There we go. And uh, let's go control B. Yes, yeah. So I usually don't use modifier. Uh, you can use modifier here as well. So with it normal, you can use that. But uh, I don't use that. I use uh, basically, uh, you know, these guys. So there we go. And uh, then let's see, just uh, random stuff. You know, just uh, go to three. I I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So there we go. So divide, look to circle. Let's see. Uh, press E there we go extrude so um, you can see those invisible stuff so if I'm going to you know, you know just uh, go and delete these faces go. and uh, let's go Q mesh normal average normal again so you can see the stuff there so uh, you can adjust it 
but it will need a loop so let me show you all things so mesh uh, normal let's use set from faces so that's how we can adjust your stuff here but obviously it needs a loop so I'm just going for um, and bevel here yeah there we go so I'm gonna be to bevel it a little bit there we go so now I can go to average normal here as well so that's how easy it is now I know before that it was really complicated in blender so now we have full support for normal editing which is really good so you can see some harder harder stuff here so um, you can do lots of uh, lots of cool things here as well so if I go Q and uh, um, Q normals uh, let's use a smoothen we can smooth it up and mix it up okay and uh, also let's use average chair normal average normal there you go nice and cute good stuff I love it so that's how we can work with it uh, let's see press E extrude S by the way you can also use modifier okay very normal okay so it will work as well so not a problem you can combine all of those not a problem as well so yeah I'm just going to close it because I don't need it uh, suppose I need these to be hard edge what can I do uh, it's pretty easy just go I'm gonna pass there we go and uh, press Q mesh uh, normal let's use face select set from face go yeah go, uh, go to Q mesh normal uh, split normal okay that will do okay so yeah that's how you can also work with it so it will split the normal press E and uh, press G there we go we can control E clear sim oh sorry not control E clear shop let's use that okay that's enough mm. everything almost right. great stuff so yeah you got the idea right so I don't know work with it and it doesn't mean that um, you know uh, you can also use uh, with it normal as well not a problem so for the 50 so you can use the keep sharp or just like that but uh, personally I don't like this stuff because uh, it's very limiting uh, I am when it comes to normal editing it should not be procedural that is insane I know because uh, an object has multiple types of normal you know and uh, procedural system can't actually really do that pretty well but you can use it you know uh, basic sense okay you can use that as well not a problem okay if you go to the corner angle I can do it like that as well but it's confusing so I don't use that so there you go it's my personal preference it doesn't matter you know you can, you can use anything so um, now we're going for some exporting and uh, let's see how can we export it so let's see so let's try to uh, export it in Unreal Engine so before everything else uh, we need to just create some random smart EV project here yeah there we go okay so um, previously we had to do it with FBX uh, we had to do it with you know uh, edge okay the smoothing group should be edge so I'm just going to select an object here and everything is are fine default so the default one is basically normal something so previously uh, you know um, in 2.79 era we had to do it with H because uh, it was comfortable with age splitting and things but uh, not right now we can do it with face smoothing as well and what I have seen that uh, it's working pretty well here so let's just export the FBX there we go 
and uh, let's import it in Unreal Engine. So import. Here we go. And import without any warning. That is good. Okay. So here we go. And uh, yep, I think it's working pretty well. So let's do um, material. So let's go to material pack. Here we go. I'm going for this. Okay. Yeah, it's it's actually working pretty nicely. I think we need to build it. It's giving me some error. Map check complete. One error. Blah blah blah. Not a problem. I'm just demo. Demo this thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's look good. Yep. The sharp edges are there. Which is actually good. Unreal navigation just you know I, I can't understand this thing. <laughs> Sometimes give me hard time. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty nicely. The hard edges good, the soft edges nice, pretty nice. And yeah. And this is the bevel we had, which is good. I can see the bevel here. Ooh, nice bevel. And the reflection is pretty nice. So it's pretty much straightforward now, which is good. Which is good. I like it. Uh, let's use other things. Yep. Pretty damn fine. Nice and wonderful. Okay. So, uh, yep. Blender is growing. All right, so now we're going to talk about the bevel. All right, bevel is getting some good love. So uh, it's an ongoing project, so I'm not going to talk about it very much. So uh, the thing is basically, uh, you know, bevel got, um, you know, uh, the first update is if you go to the vertex mode, control shift B, you can go like this, you can segment it. It is new. This one is new. So that means you can now uh, use it for um, vertex uh, in setting and things like that. You can profile it. You can, you can do lots of stuff with it. So it's getting crazy. So this one is pretty good. I like it and uh, I love it. So yeah, we need to just auto smooth that. Q my normal average the normal yeah so it's getting uh, it's getting better so the vertex normal is now having some cool stuff going on so we can you know bevel it up a little bit actually I'm using uh, profile 0.5 anyway so you got the idea so yeah there we go and normal average normal fantastico so i love it and uh, this is an ongoing project so uh, you will see more updates really soon um it, it has come from you know the google summer of code uh, rohan and yeah his mentor they're doing it doing this stuff pretty nice thanks for that and I love it. Awesome. It's awesome. Okay. Now I can see the potential here. So, yeah, normal. And just just go uh, for something. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, so uh, now let's go to the bevel modifier. So the bevel modifier got lots of love. So let's do it this shift A mesh cube. Auto smooths and let's go to bevel where are you bevel so bevel got lots of stuff lots of things going on with this with this guy so um yeah uh, the first one is you can now use harden normal to so harden normal what does it do is basically it it does what it says that it hardened the normals so which means it doesn't 
do uh, you know um, what can i say uh it doesn't do the average normally but what it will do is basically uh, it will uh, go for let me go to wireframe here we go uh, it will create um these two edges it will give these two edges um sharp edge okay so let me apply it here and ah okay i think i was wrong so that means i think it is doing yeah oh sorry i was wrong match normals of new faces to adjacent oh okay um uh, this is actually uh average normal yeah yeah right i was wrong all right so this is doing the average normal thing so this is actually an ongoing uh, modifier so i'm not going to comment anything about it because i really don't know and nobody actually know uh what will happen at the end but it is going very well the project is very going very well so yeah and uh, there is also a miter setup which is really good so the miter setup is uh basically you can create some patches uh, but you know um you know miting you know so you can create patch you can spread it i think we will need some more segment here let me see okay so this is the outer miter and uh, this one is the inner miter so inner miter if we go to the patch you can see the spread you know now you can <laughs> make lots of cool stuff with it it's pretty crazy man i love it so i'm very excited to see this ongoing project here so very normal so if you go here in sharp edge sharp cut cool so these are miter patch this one is arc okay and this one is patch so try this uh, i'm not sure about it a lot so i'm not going to comment anything about it so uh, try this but i love this hidden uh, uh, hard and normal this one is pretty good because uh, when you are doing procedural stuff um it will help you to you know go to the um, um, average normal thing here as well so hard and normal pretty good so you can use uh, bevel with um, weighted normal as well not a problem so they are pretty much same so if we go to here so i'm just uh, assigning a weighted normal here and uh, this is my bevel so i can go here you know so you don't need to use hard and normal here so yeah it's already hardening the normal i mean averaging the normal here so it's pretty good so that's it today and thanks for your time it is a pretty long time so um yeah thank you and i'm father sanputik from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye